What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the show. So today we're gonna to talk about the COLA for Social Security for 2025. There's some predictions that are out there. We're gonna take a look at them. And you might be surprised at what these predictions are showing us when it comes to COLA for 2025. So that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification, clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC show. Okay, so we're gonna get right into this PowerPoint that I created, and then I'm gonna tell you some important dates that we need to be paying attention to when it comes to COLA for 2025. Okay, so first off here, uh, when we're looking at the predictions, these are only predictions, okay? So this is, we don't have anything set in stone yet. We're just talking about the way our economy is going and how we think the COLA will reflect what we're seeing in the economy. And so right now we know that many retirees rely on Social Security, which replaces about 40% of their pre-retirement wages. So what basically what they're saying is, you could have a retirement plan set up. You can have a 401k, you can have uh, IRA, you can have all these different plans set up. But most people are taking about 40% of their retirement from Social Security benefits. So that's a large chunk when you think about it. It's almost 50% of the money that they're receiving in retirement is coming from Social Security. So it's very important that we pay attention to the cost of living adjustments for every year because that can really impact your, your retirement. Your, your lifestyle. And so just looking at recent history, we know that we had that 8.7% COLA increase in 2023. We also know that it was 3.2% in 2024. Okay, so now we're moving to 2025. What is it going to be in 2025? Will it go up or will it go down even lower? Okay, and so what economists are saying right now, some economists, they're predicting that it's going to be smaller. So we're gonna have a smaller COLA than we did this year. So 3.2% they think it's going to be below that. They're thinking it's going to be sub 2%, so under 2% is what they're looking at here. So that's just something that you need to be prepared for. We could see COLA drop below 2%. Now, is it all bad news if we see COLA drop below 2%? Well, it's not all bad news, but it depends on our economy. It depends on, if you, when you go to a grocery store, it depends on how much those items cost. Because if those items reflect what we're seeing when it comes to the CPI score and the CPIW score, and remember that's what they're using. They're using the CPIW, not just the CPI, okay? So they're using the wage earners and clerical workers. That's how they determine COLA for, for Social Security. And so some things to watch. One thing is we need to see if this reduction in the, the COLA is reflected in our market, okay? So that's bottom line. You go to the grocery store, how much are you paying? That's what we wanna know. All right, so moving forward. Uh, the importance of additional retirement income. This is very, very important. However, there are a lot of people who retire and they don't have additional income. So they might be receiving Social Security 100% of their retirement Social Security. Now, most financial advisors will tell you you need to have some things set up. But if you're already retired and, you don't, and you're not in that situation where you have additional a re retirement plan set up, well, that's really not going to help you. So you're, you're, you're in a situation where you really need to pay attention even more so to the cost of living adjustment because it will probably impact you more than someone who has a retirement plan set up and they're using a portion, let's say up to 40% of their, their retirement is coming from Social Security. That will hurt them, but it's not going to impact them the same as someone who is receiving 100% of their retirement in Social Security. Okay, so I wanna take a look at some graphs here because uh, I like to look at graphs. They kind of give you, I don't know, I'm a visual learner, so it just helps me see things better. So when we're looking at back in 2023, that was that 8.7 uh, COLA increase, and then we saw this huge drop, okay? So we saw it drop down to 3.2% in 2024, and right now the prediction is it's going to drop under 2% for 2025. And let me give you a bar graph. Bar graphs are a little better because they'll show you the actual percentage. So we talked about 2023, 8.7, 2024, 3.2. And so right now the prediction is 1.75 in 2025. And so let me remind you again, this is only a prediction. We don't have the data yet. We will get the data in July of this year, August and September. Those are the important dates that we need to pay attention to. 
We're gonna also be looking at the CPIW, not just the CPI. And that's why every month I let you guys know what the CPI is, and I'll start letting you guys know in July, August, and September, I'll let you guys know what the CPIW is as well. And then we'll do the calculations and we can figure out what COLA is going to look like for 2025. But what you should be focused on right now is you received a 3.2% for 2024, it's probably going to be less in 2025 unless we start seeing inflation rise. If we see inflation rise, then we could see a cost of living adjustment that's higher. Now, it's a double-edged sword because if inflation rises, that means you're paying more at the grocery store, you're paying more at the pump, you're paying more everywhere. And so we know already that COLA usually doesn't keep up with inflation. It's usually, your purchasing power is still diminished even when you get a COLA adjustment because inflation, I don't know, it, it generally inflation is higher than what you're getting in your cost of living adjustment. And so because we know that, we really don't want inflation to go up any higher. I, I, I think most people would say that they don't want inflation to go higher, but that also means that the cost of living adjustment is going to be lower. And so hopefully all this makes sense. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. But the bottom line here is, don't expect more than 3.2%. You got 3.2% in 2024, don't expect more than 3.2% in 2025. As a matter of fact, it's probably going to be under 2% in 2025. That's all I have for this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.